So the Department of Justice had reportedly warned the Trump administration that Flynn could be vulnerable to blackmail for his connection to the Russian ambassador. Are you surprised by the resignation? What's your take here? Well, uh, General Flynn has admitted misleading the vice president. But I think we have to look at this a little bit deeper. A, a phone call from the incoming director of national security was intercepted and uh, the contents given to the media and you have to uh, and and sh and so obviously shared by intelligence officials now what's at the core of this is an effort by some in the intelligence community to upend any uh, positive relationship between the US and Russia and I tell you there's a marching band and chowder society out there there's gold in them their hills there are people trying to separate the US and Russia so that this uh, military industrial uh, intel um, axis can cash in. So, so, is the, so is the bigger issue here, in your view, the fact that this was leaked and somebody <clears throat> inside the White House got this news out to the press? What, what are you saying? Well, look, it's an issue, and, and the general has admitted in his resignation letter that he misled the vice president. That's a bad thing. But the American people have to know that there's a game going on inside the intelligence community where there are those who want to separate the U.S. from Russia in a way that would reignite the Cold War. That's what's at the bottom of all this. It's like it's early in the morning, it's Valentine's Day, but wake up, America. Wow. Congressman, do you think that this fundamentally changes the prospect of a stronger relationship with Russia, or do you think that things can proceed as they have been proceeding, as the president has said he'd like to proceed? Hey, look, this, what's going on in the intelligence community with this new president is unprecedented. They're making every effort to upend him. Who knows what the truth is anymore? It's like, it's like, this is like Mad Mag the electronic version of Mad Magazine, spy versus spy. And, and so the bottom line is we should not start a Cold War again with Russia. The American people forked over billions of dollars for the last one and changed the quality of life in this country. There's something wrong going on here in the intelligence community. So what, what, what should Donald Trump do then? Well, look, first of all, he has to get a hold of, of, of his own intelligence um, apparatus. You know, this isn't a joke. This is a serious matter. If he doesn't get control of where the information's coming from, He'll never know the truth. The American people won't know the truth. And we could be set at war with almost any country. Be very careful is my warning this morning. Wow. Congressman, in the age of WikiLeaks and with, you know, access to information across the board, what really can Trump do right now? I mean, if this administration seems like it's in a, in a, in a tough situation in regards to controlling our, our national security. Well, wait, it's not, just this, it's not just this administration. I want to remind the viewers and, and all those who are on the panel that in the closing months of the Obama administration, they put together a deal with Russia to uh, create peace in Syria. A few days later, a military strike in Syria killed 100 uh, Syrian soldiers, and that ended the agreement. What happened is, inside the intelligence and the Pentagon, there was a deliberate effort to sabotage an agreement the White House made. This is like deep state. This is like some kind of a spy novel. And, and, but it's real, and the American people have to understand a game is being played with the security of our country. You know, Congressman, people are having so much trouble understanding what it is that they should be paying attention to. There's so much mm. vitriol. There's so much hate throwing out there. And so we're looking at this, and people are, on one hand, saying the administration is in disarray. They don't know what they're doing. Look at how many mistakes they're making. The national security is at risk. We've got people who shouldn't have security clearance having security clearance. People are lying. What should people be focused on? What, like, looking at all of this, you know, what should viewers be taking away right now? Well, it's going to be very important that the president uh, tells the truth. You know, we're, 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 we'll be celebrating uh, President's Day soon. One of the presidents we're celebrating is George Washington, who, uh, uh, you know, mythically was said uh, never to have lied uh, that he, in fact, chopped down that cherry tree. Well, the fact of the matter is we need to make sure the White House is communicating clearly to the American people about what's going on. But the question is, is the president getting the right information? And are there games being played inside the intelligence community to force American policy in a direction that's different than what the White House wants? We need to have closer ties with Russia. We, we, we can't be suckers in this, 
but we cannot also have uh, certain people playing an agenda that separates us uh, from uh, our aspirations for peace between the two major powers in the world. So is the bigger issue the fact that he even discussed sanctions uh, with his potential counterpart in Russia, or is the bigger issue that he lied to Vice well, President-elect uh, Pence? Well, first of all, news reports this morning indicate that uh, one intel official who's secretly sharing his thoughts with the media said that he never talked about lifting sanctions. Who knows? But the bigger issue is that in this moment, that in a conversation with Vice President Pence, he misled the vice right. president yeah, that's as to what, what happened. It was the cover-up that's worse than the crime. But what you're saying is you're underlining something even bigger, and that is somebody within Trump's White House is trying to sabotage him somehow. I don't know if it's somebody inside the Trump White House. But in, it's inside our intelligence uh, community. There's definitely something going on inside the intelligence community uh, to, uh, uh, to try to undermine this administration. And we better, you know, this isn't about whether you're for or against Donald Trump. Right. Hello? Mm -hmm. This is about whether or not the American people are, are bystanders in a power play inside the intelligence community, the outcome of which could determine our relationships with Russia and whether or not billions of dollars are going to be spent in a new Cold War. Well, we know that the head of the CIA was against Donald Trump before he came into office, the former head of the CIA. Meanwhile, Hillary Clinton is taking jabs at Flynn's resignation. It started when a former aide of hers tweeted this. Dear Mike Flynn and Mike Flynn Jr., what goes around comes around. He then included a link for a job opening at Domino's Pizza. It is a reference to General Flynn's son's tweets regarding the uh, Comet Pizza child trafficking conspiracy theory. Hillary Clinton then tweeted herself. Uh, Philippe's got his own way of saying things, but he has a point about the real consequences of fake news. Congressman Kucinich, what do you make about, uh, of this? Do you think Clinton should be weighing in on this? Well, look, uh, what happened at Com Comet Pizza, that whole story was a disgrace. I, I mean, it really. I'm, I, I'm not going to go over the details because it's really not fit for, uh, for family television. But I will tell you this. This is a much more serious issue. And, the, and, and the, the, the White House, whether you're for Trump or against Trump, the White House is under attack from elements inside the intelligence community which are trying to uh, um, uh, elevate tensions between Russia and the United States. And at the bottom of that is, is money, is an agenda for somebody to cash in on conflict between the U.S. and Russia at any level.